This is how I study blood flow and blood pressure. Physiology of circulation, definition of terms, we're going to look at blood flow. blood pressure and resistance. Let's start with these three. Okay, so the first one is blood flow. It's the volume of blood. Oops. Okay, volume of blood flowing through a vessel and organ. or the entire circulatory system or entire circulation in a given period it's measured in milliliters per minute Another thing is it's equivalent to cardio output for entire vascular system. Relatively constant when at rest, and it varies widely through individual organs based on the needs. However, in the brain is where it's most constant. The next one is blood pressure, I believe. This one is force per unit area exerted on the wall of a blood vessel by the blood and this one is expressed in MMHG and it's measured as systematic arterial BP in large arteries near the heart the pressure gradient provides the driving force that keeps blood moving from higher to lower pressure area. Okay, so the last one is resistance or peripheral resistance. And it's opposition to flow, measured in the amount of friction blood encounters, generally encountered in the peripheral system, systemic circulation. The three important sources of resistance are... viscosity or thickness. Two is the vessel length. Three is the vessel diameter. Okay, so viscosity, like I said before, is thickness. Let's just put thickness down here so we remember what viscosity means. So if the blood viscosity thickens, the flow decreases. If the viscosity of blood decreases, flow, blood flow that is, increases. 
vessel length is how long the vessel is. Vessel is. So the shorter the vessel, blood flow increases. The longer the vessel, blood flow decreases. Just think of it as a watering hose, okay? The longer the watering hose, the longer the watering hose, this is the water. So this is the start. Okay, the longer it is, you're not going to get a lot of water at this end. So it's just going to be little driplets, you know, like that. So the longer the vessel, the flow decreases. The shorter the vessel, okay, the shorter the vessel, the flow increases. Okay, so shorter the length, the flow increases. Longer in the length, flow decreases. Vessel diameter. It's basically something like this versus something like this. Alright? So, yes. Blood flow is going to go a lot quicker in here versus in here. So, the bigger the diameter, the flow increases. Smaller diameter, flow decreases. Alright, that's about it.